Hey everybody, Dave Brown here from Okuma Fishing Tackle. Today we're out here in Southern California off the backside of Catalina Island and we're chasing calico bass and yellowtail. The calico bass fishing has been on fire so far this spring. It's a, it's a beautiful day today. It's supposed to be up in the 90 degrees. It's pretty flat calm out here and we've got a nice south to north current happening here. The kelp is just below the surface, probably from surface down to about 10 feet, which is ideal for what we're doing for this calico bass fishing. Today I'm fishing the eight foot PCH extra heavy rod. This is the new PCH inshore rod, eight foot extra heavy. It's got a great little tip section to it so you can really wing these irons out there. Now I mentioned iron, we're actually throwing iron for these calico bass today. I've got a minty green iron here. The minty green's an awesome color for calico bass as well as yellowtail. Some of the other colors you can fish though, you've got like your blue, yellow, whites, you've got your scrambled egg patterns, you've got your, your light browns, you've got your other minty greens and whites. Blue and white's always a popular. Uh, size wise, you know, you're gonna get anything from your five to seven inch irons. Weight, I like the lighter surface irons for this fishing because you don't want it to sink down into the kelp. You can actually fish the heavier jigs when you're out away from the kelp and that'll actually get it down deeper. But those light surface iron jigs, I like the white back, but then with your different colored tops to them. What I like to do is I'll, I'll wing it out to that kelp there, let it sink just a little bit, and then give it a nice slow retrieve. And what that's gonna do is let it flutter right above that kelp. Those big calico bass, they're actually hunkered down into that kelp. When they see that thing go by, they're gonna come up and attack it. You'll see surface explosions, they'll get them down deep, they'll grab it and they'll try to bury themselves down in the kelp. What you want there is some nice stiff drag, which we're fishing that Komodo 450. It's got the 30 pounds of drag on it. Really button that guy down and then a rod with some backbone. Like I said, this is the eight foot extra heavy. It's a heavy rod, but it's got that backbone that you can really stop those fish and turn them around before they bury themselves in the kelp. It's a great little setup. So we're gonna show you a little bit of casting, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna wing it out there, let it sink a little bit, and then just slow retrieve it right over the top of that kelp. Those bass will come out in ambush, and that's exactly what you're looking for out here in Southern California. It's a great fishing technique. It's a great fishery out here. The calico bass are so much fun. I do appreciate y'all checking in today. For more tips and techniques, visit okumafishingusa.com.